<laughs> okay, uh, mom and dad, now we're done talking about the president. You can have the kids come back into the room because uh, we're going to talk about something impressive and inspiring. This weekend was the incredibly powerful march <laughs> for our lives against gun violence. <laughs> Organizers really moved you to see young people. <laughs> Seeing young people. Saving all of us. Organizers estimated the D.C. march alone was attended by 800,000 people, making it the largest single day protest in the history of the nation's capital, at least until Robert Mueller gets fired. <laughs> see everybody in two weeks. And it was incredibly inspiring to see everybody marching for what they believed in. Of course, there were some homemade signs like, I want to live in a world where guns are harder to get than Hamilton tickets. <laughs> I can't even bring peanut butter to school. <laughs> if you need a machine gun to hunt, you suck at it. <laughs> and the extremely compassionate thoughts and prayers for Republicans in November. <laughs> That's so nice. That's so nice. From the heart. Such so lovely. The young speakers were amazing. So many of them. Mm -hmm. uh, like a Stoneman Douglas student, Sam Fuentes, who literally could not contain her passion. Politicians will scream, guns are not the issue, but can't look me in the eye. I just threw up on international television, and it feels great. Good for you. Give it up for Sam. Yes. You go, girl. Let it rip. That is fantastic. That is honest, because I have felt like throwing up on international television for the last year and a half, and I haven't had the courage yet. <laughs> of course, th these young people were amazingly inspiring. We are so grateful for the courage they've got to create an event like this and to fight for all of our safety, not just their own. But of course, not everybody was inspired by these young people. Take former senator and robot in the hall of never going to be presidents, Rick Santorum. <laughs> They took action to ask someone to pass a law. They didn't take action to say, how do I, well, as an individual, deal with this uh, problem? Those are the kinds of things where you can take it internally and say, here's how I'm going to deal with this. Here's how I'm going to help the situation, instead of going and protesting and saying, oh, someone else needs to I've pass a law a to protect me. Yeah, kids, stop asking your government to address your needs. <laughs> Remember what the bill from Schoolhouse Rock says. You're on your own, suckers. <laughs> but, but... Santorum did have this word of advice. How about kids, instead of looking to someone else to solve their problem, do something about maybe taking CPR classes? Great idea, Rick. But why stop at CPR? Kids should learn blacksmithing. So in case of an emergency, they can forge their own rifle. Oh, when this thing cools off, you're in big trouble, mister. Meanwhile, Robert Mueller's Russia investigation must be going well because the president's lawyers are fleeing like rats leaving a sinking Trump. The New York Times is reporting that at a crucial juncture, Trump's legal defense is largely a one-man operation. That man, conservative attorney and evil Millhouse Jay Sekulow. Wow. <laughs> Trump, of course, Trump, of course, says that story is nonsense, tweeting. Many lawyers and top law firms want to represent me in the Russia case. Don't believe the fake news narrative that it is hard to find a lawyer who wants to take this on. Fame and fortune will never be turned down by a lawyer, though some are conflicted. Problem is that a new dot 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 lawyer or law firm will take months to get up to speed. If for no other reason than they can bill more, which is unfair to our great country, and I am very happy with my existing team. Besides, there was no collusion with Russia except by Crooked Hillary and the Dems. <laughs> this is really one of the saddest Trump tweets I have ever seen. He knows no one wants to represent him, but he's saying everybody does. That's when I said I wasn't going to prom because too many pretty girls asked me, <laughs> and I didn't want to see them cry. Oh, he's got plenty of lawyers, but they're all in Canada, modeling. 
Also, if you need a legal team, maybe don't say fame and fortune will never be turned down by a lawyer, and if for no other reason, then they can bill more. Why aren't these blood-sucking, ambulance-chasing fame whores more excited about keeping me out of jail? I don't know. <laughs> and I... I don't know. And apparently... Apparently, Trump is done playing nice with Robert Mueller. According to one source, Trump is looking at this saying, I did it your way for months, now I'm doing it my way. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing it my way is my favorite Sinatra song. <laughs> Along with... The summer wind, fly me to the moon and be a lady tonight. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me know what like on Jupiter. 